this video, we are going to be kayak fishing for smallmouth bass on the Columbia River. We are going to be fishing from May, when the springtime spawning is over, until August, when we switch over to fishing for salmon and steelhead. In late spring, the water temperature is still pretty cool, so fishing along the rocky shoreline is still very productive. Leadhead grubs and plastic worms work best for us, but swim baits and crank baits can also be effective. Plenty of bigger bass ready to bite. This time of year, the water level in the river is pretty high, so there are more places to fish. The Columbia River can be over 100 feet deep in spots, but in many places, it's only a few feet deep. big one. Another big Columbia River smallmouth bass. Calm winds and sunny skies don't happen every day here in the Pacific Northwest in late spring, so you have to get out there when the conditions are good. Another nice smallmouth. The wind is starting to pick up a little. It's not too bad now, but the conditions can change very quickly here, and we are about a mile from the lawn site, so you have to pay attention to the weather, even if the fish are biting. Another nice fish. We've headed east to one of our favorite smallmouth bass fishing spots, the John Day River. We're fishing the river mouth of the John Day where it meets the main channel of the Columbia River.
Okay, you can catch fish like this size all day long. Literally, every cast, you can catch a fish like this here on the John Day. The John Day River is one of the premier smallmouth bass fishing spots in the United States. Catching a fish on every cast is not unusual. Let's try again in pretty much the same spot. That didn't take long. Every cast. Not the biggest fish, but fun to catch. Another hookup. This is a pretty good spot. Smallmouth bass are great fighters. Even smaller fish are fun to catch on light tackle. Not exactly the world in Noisy train doesn't seem to bother the fish. They keep right on biting. right back out in the same spot. And another hookup. We've moved across the river to look for some bigger fish. It didn't take long to get hooked up.
this one is a little bigger. One fish is hooked up, and there's another bass checking out the action. This bass hit a spinner bait. We seem to have found fish that are a little bigger. Another feisty smallmouth. Here we are fishing at the mouth of the Deschutes River and Miller Island. The combination of wind in the Columbia Gorge and low water levels below the Dalles Dam, this is a pretty good place to try. That's a pretty decent fish. As the water temperature reaches its warmest of the year and river water levels drop, the bass head for deeper water and they are a little harder to find. When that happens, we switch over to a Carolina rig, which is a sliding sinker bottom setup and a live night crawler. There are a lot of fish in the Columbia River. When you use live bait, you never know what you might catch. This is definitely not a smallmouth bass. Got the smallmouth bass rig maxed out here.
Still under gun. There's the fish. It's a white sturgeon. I'll unhook this fish and let it go. Another nice smallmouth bass on the Carolina River. Another hookup with some river barge traffic going by. If you're in shallow water, you have to watch out for the wake from these barges. Most of the bass we caught in this spot were pretty nice fish. All the fish are at the bottom in at least 15 feet of water. This fish was really hungry. He had a fish in his mouth and still swallowed a big night crawler. Another hookup. This feels like a nice fish.
another nice Columbia River smallmouth. We are heading to Eastern Oregon to try our luck. It's different from the Columbia Gorge in the Western Columbia River. Hot and dry here. There are a lot of places to fish and the fishing is usually pretty good. A nice smallmouth bass from the eastern stretch of the river. The cool morning sessions resulted in plenty of good bass fishing. Perfect kayak fishing conditions. This looks like a nice fish. Another beautiful Columbia River smallmouth bass. Watermanatwork.com